जय राधमाधवा कुंज बिहारी जय जशोधनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन जशोधनंदन ब्रज जन रमुना तीरावन चारीमुना तीरा मंगलाचरण प्रेयर्स एंड विल बिगिन ओके ओम अज्ञान तिमीरांधस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरून्मीत तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूपा कदाम ददा स्वदाक वंदेहम श्री गुरो श्री युत पदकमल श्री गुरून् वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सह गण रुगुनाता सजीव साद्वैत सवदूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता नम ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदातास्वामीनामस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे 
निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यादेशतारिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेशा गोपिकाकांत राधाकांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी कृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचाकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभव पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग फॉर संडे फीस्ट गैदरिंग आई बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम दिस माई बी द सेवेंथ सेशन है सम सेवेंथ एट सेशन the last time i spoke about the glories of mahaprasadam right so before we start again discussing about lord jagannath and prasadam we'll say the pranam mantra for lord jagannath i hope everyone remembers it memorize it now i've been speaking every week whenever i get a chance okay so please repeat after me okay neela chala nivasaya nitya ya paramatmane बलभद्र सुभद्राभ्या प्रणाम मंत्र फॉर जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्राज जगन्नाथ बल सुभद्रा वी कैन विदाउट एनी यू नो इश्यू कैन सिंग ओके एवरी नोज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इन वो डिज इन नो द मीनिंग इन वो डिज इन नो आई थिंक वंस ट्वाइस ओके Very nice. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> the last time I spoke about the glories of Mahaprasadam, of Mahaprasadam in general, and uh, Mahaprasadam, Jagannath Mahaprasadam as well. So we talked about the importance of prasadam, and then we talked about what does one obtain um, by you know honoring prasadam. Then whose offering are accepted by Krishna? We talked about that. How the Lord eats? We talked. By uh, from Skanda Puran words and from that's from Brahma Samhita words, Angani Jasya Sakali Indra Pratti Manti Pashanti Panti Kalayanti Chirang Jaganti. Right? All the senses do all the work. Okay. Then we talked about why has Mahaprasad incarnated in this world? Why did Mahaprasad appear in this world? And we talked using the words, the very famous words which we usually chant at the during the Prasadam time or before Prasadam time. Sharira Abhidya Jal Jodin Driha Ta He Kal. You know, that particular verse talks about the reason. Shri Bhakti On Thakur talks about the reason of Mahaprasadam's appearance in this particular world is to relieve us from the bondage. Okay. Then we talked about the story from Sri Chaitanya Mangal about the origin of Mahaprasadam, the past time. Right? Mother Parvati, Lord Shiva, Narad Muni. Hopefully, everyone remembers. Right. so we talked about that now one thing which i didn't mention that time is that when we offer any bhoga to krishna it should be sattvic food without onion or garlic okay it has to be the onion and garlic because onion and garlic are supposed to consider as tamasic food okay it increases agitation so of course you know whatever krishna has made has its purpose you know onion and garlic has its purpose is good for cholesterol blood whatever it is but those who are those who want to progress in the path of spiritual life that is not the food that will not help us that will not help us go forward smoothly okay so it has its own use it has medicinal properties without a doubt but for spiritual advancement that is not a uh, good uh, option okay now after we talked about that um now i like to recite one past time we start with one past time of jagannath um with the gading prasada okay so many of the offerings in lord jagannath temple in puri right they got introduced because of many past times so it has not there previously like for example khaja right khaja was not there traditionally is not mentioned in the scriptures but there is a past time because of which khaja is offered Every day to Lord Jagannath. We we'll talk about that also, right? So there are many such 
footsteps, so to say, offered to Lord Jagannath, not because he's mentioned the scriptures, but because of Jagannath's reciprocation with his devotees. Okay? This is one such pastime which I'm going to mention. So there's an old, there's an old lady named Karma Bai. Okay? The name Karma Bai. And she used to live in Pandarpur. Where is Pandarpur? On the west side of India, Maharashtra. Now, she was a great devotee of Lord Jagannath and her guru was Sundar Varma. Okay? So, by some divine inspiration, they thought of going to Puri to see to have the darshan of Lord Jagannath. And you know, when they went there, they felt, oh no, no, let's live the rest of their life here. Let's not go back to Pandarpur anymore. We live the rest of our life in this particular place. So, Karmabai built a house uh, near Grand Road. Who knows what Grand Road is? Yes, Prabhu. What is Grand Road? Not Grant, Grand. G R A N D. Grand Road. Prabhu, can you go slide 28, Prabhu? Grand Road is a road where the Lord, Dathatra, goes from Puri Temple to Gudicha Temple. One straight road. Prabhu, do you Ten second, Prabhu. Slide 28, Prabhu. It's just one road. So normally you know, in India, you see um, roads have, you know, across the roads, you have you know, many cables going, electric, electric cables and all this stuff. Just one road directly. There are no wires going across the road because the Lord walks with them. They have 40 feet high chariots, right? more than that. So just one road from Puri temple all the way to Gundicha temple. Right? There is a grand road. And this is a place, this is a road, on the side of the road was the house of Shri Bhaktivan Thakur, where the illustrious Shri Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasri Gosai Maharaj appeared. Okay? And this is the place, this is a road where Lord Jagannath stopped his cart until he saw his dear devotee Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur. The Rath stopped there. And when Bhakti Bhakti Thakur brought his son, Bimala Prasad, that is his name. Bimala Prasad means the of the remnants of Bimala Devi. Okay, so Lord Jagannath, when the food is offered to Lord Jagannath, it's not, it doesn't come out. That's not prasad, that is prasadam. But then it's offered to Bimala Devi, or the Parvati. Remember the story? Origin Mahaprasadam? You offered Bimala Devi, and then it's called Mahaprasadam. It comes out of the temple, it's called Mahaprasadam. So, Shabakti and Thakur named his son as Bimala Prasad, these remnants of Shri Bimala Devi. Okay? So, on the side of this particular road, Karma Bai built a house and she was staying there with, his, with her spiritual master. So, she used to sing very nicely and uh, her spiritual master used to give very shastic discourses, lectures in the Varma. Now, every day, you know, Karma Bai would book cook and make offerings to her deity, Lord Jagannath, in her home. And once she decided to offer Jagannath some khichdi. The, the famous food of Iskand famous food, khichdi, okay, with very high quality rice, beans, sabjis, everything. And as I mentioned, Krishna does not care about what you offer. Krishna cares how you offer. You may prepare 56 items, 108 items, 1008 items, 10,000 items, doesn't matter. Just like, you know, as I mentioned, salt that cannot be seen in the preparation. But if there is no salt, it won't taste good. Similarly, the salt for Krishna is devotion. Patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktiya prayachati tadaham bhakti uparitam ashtani prayatatpana Bhakti is used twice in the verse. Devotion, love. You offer with love, Krishna will eat anything. So much so that if it's not supposed to be eaten, Krishna will eat that. And flower which is, you offer to Krishna, Krishna will eat that. He next says, oh, my devotee offered with love. He becomes bewildered and he eats the flower itself. Okay? So, <coughs> Karmabai prepared khichdi and offered to Lord Jagannath at, at home. After a short time, okay, Krishna is called as Bhava Grahi Janardana. Bhava means he is Grahi. He is the enjoyer. He takes what? Bhava, your mood. Hmm? So, <coughs> Lord Jagannath came to the dream of, uh, the dream of Gajapati. Gajapati is the king of Puri. Gajapati is a title 
given to the king of Puri. Okay. Now, uh, the, that particular king, the name of the king was Nirpa Kishori. So he came, Jagannath came to dream of the king and said that, Oh Maharaj, I am very happy with the offering given by, offered by my, law, my devotee Karma Bai. Please go find her. She makes very delicious khichdi every day. I want it to be offered in the Puri temple. Go find her. Okay, and she is very, she's not very poor. To so make sure, take care of her maintenance as well. All instructions were given. And Maharaj woke up in the morning. Maharaj woke up in the morning, but he didn't take that seriously. Hmm? Now, the system in Jagannath Puri is that when Lord Jagannath is offered food, they, there's a way to, for them to check the pandas, the pujaris called pandas. There's a way for them to check if the, offer, the offering is accepted by the Lord. After offering, they will take some water in the palm and they will see reflection of Lord Jagannath in their hand. If they see the reflection, offering accepted. If they don't see the reflection, something's amiss. Something's fishy going on here. Okay? So they took water and saw, looking in the hand, can't see the reflection. Something's wrong. Okay, what is that? So, it can be anything. It can be, if a hair is, if a strand of hair falls in the bhoga, if they find that, they'll throw the entire offering. It's not fit for the king of the universe. No. Cook again. So, it might be something. It went for seven days. There was something. They keep on changing something, 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 but no, it didn't matter. So, the pandas informed the king. King is supposed to be the administrative head of the temple, the Puri temple. So, they mentioned that, oh Maharaj, Jagannath is not taking the offering, accepting the offering. Then he remembered, oh, oops, there's a dream which I saw seven days ago. Lord Jagannath came himself and told, I want the khichdi of my media devotee, Karma Bai. Okay? So, and I did not do what Lord Jagannath told me. Imagine, defying the order of the Lord of the Universe. Right? So, but Jagannath is so kind, he did not get, he did not get reprimanded. But he just, no, I'm not going to take offering. Okay. King immediately sent his soldiers, find, find Karma Bai. So finally they went, they found her, and they brought her to, to the king's palace. The king folded his hand saying that you are a great devotee. Lord Jagannath personally ordered me to make arrangements for you, for your care. And make sure that you offer the khichdi you made is offered to Lord Jagannath. So Kamavai said, first you should allow whatever I cooked to be offered to Lord Jagannath in a golden plate in the temple as a Raj Bhoga. Hmm? The afternoon meal, Raj Bhoga offering. The king heard, he said, perfect. But this is related to the pandas of the temple. Panda said, no, no way. How can you, how can you do this? this is, we don't know what is, where is cooked. I will, once we progress in this series, we'll talk about the kitchen of Lord Jagannath. The most, the biggest, the world's biggest kitchen is Lord Jagannath's kitchen. We'll talk about that. Okay? <clears throat> so, Panda said, no, that cannot be done. They again offered this, that to see the reflection. No reflection. They understood. Lord Jagannath wants her kitchen itself because we can't do anything about it. But finally, the kitchen was offered to Lord. Jagannath. And after she left, um, so she used to offer every day to Lord Jagannath her khichdi. And after she left, it still goes on. And one of the offerings to Lord Jagannath is Karma Bhai's khichdi. That is the name of the offering. Karma Bhai's khichdi. Right? So that's how, well, as I mentioned, right, the very start, many of the offerings of Lord Jagannath are not just from the Shastrik, from the, uh, from the scriptures itself, but because of the personal reciprocation of Lord Jagannath with his devotees. Okay? And very strict, they won't use new world vegetables, potatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, nope, nothing. Local grown, home grown, so many varieties of food stuff we can, can't even imagine. Okay? We say tomato, without tomato, how can I make a base? That's what you think, right? <laughs> how to make beef without tomato? That is the transcendent looking of Jagannath Mandir. Okay? Now, so that is the uh, 
पास टाइम ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ ऑफ पित्त के रूप प्रसाद श्री नीता सचिनंद देव भगवान की जय लक्ष्मी नरसिंह देव भगवान की जय तुथ महारानी की जय शिव प्रभुपाद की जय ओके थिंस वी टॉक अबाउट द पास टाइम ऑफ प्रसादम विल टॉक अबाउट नाउ द मूड विथ विच वी शुड ऑफर प्रसादम ओके और वी शुड ऑन नॉट नॉट ऑफर वी शुड ऑनर प्रसादम ओके दिस वेरी इंस्ट्रक्टिव एटलीस्ट फॉर मी इट वॉज वेरी इंस्ट्रक्टिव इट कम्स फ्रॉम माँ भारत ओके सो इन माँ भारत आफ्टर राज्य सूज यज्ञ महाराज रजिस्टर वॉन्टेड टू फीड एवरी वन सो थ्रू ऑल दी वैष्णवास द ब्राह्मणास एवरी वन एंड ही आज दी लॉर्ड यू नो हाउ वुड आई नो द ब्राह्मण आर ब्राह्मणास और वैष्णव और एवरी वन इज सैटिस्फाइड हाउ वुड आई नो आई वॉन्ट सम लिटमस टेस्ट ओके सो कृष्ण हैज ही सेलिब्रेटेड कॉन्शल हु वट इज द नेम ऑफ द कॉन्शल पांच जन्य पांच जन्य ऋषि के शो भगवीता फर्स्ट चैप्टर राइट सो कृष्ण पुटिस सेलिब्रेट कॉन्शल ऑन टेबल एंड सेड द मोमेंट वेरी मीन सैटिस्फाइड माई कॉन्च विल ब्लो विल हियर अ साउंड फ्रॉम माई कॉन्शल बट ओके सो ही कॉल्ड एवरी वन he called everyone started feeding you know with great care you know bhishmar was pakka with dharmaraj strictly following the codes he started serving the vaishnavas and serving the brahmanas everyone perfectly without any ni thoda kam you know nothing profusely okay now after everything was finished vipada yudhish thought that okay everything was done i didn't hear any complaints But then, why is the conch shell not blowing? Why is the conch shell not blowing? Something. So he he asked the back, perfect Q and A, right? Bhagavad Gita. So the perfect master he asked Krishna, "Oh Krishna, why didn't the conch shell blow?" Is anyone left? Who you know, was not satisfied by my um, offerings? So Krishna told Krishna told this devotee named Sopach Valmika, not Valmiki, Valmika. is a person is a low caste person so apache not because of birth but because of nature in this that is that is innate nature because of previous karmas so apache means outcast so he was not properly treated at the rajasuya yagya find that particular person go send bhima and arjuna to find him and bring him and serve him properly but okay so mahi yudhishthir told bhima and arjuna go next day go and find the particular person and he asked draupadi to please prepare meals herself personally cook the meals okay to serve this particular person prasadam now bhima arjuna went to find the particular person miss swapacha valmika okay they did without delay they went following the order of their elder brother now when they entered the house when they came in front of the house other of the person the person was bewildered am i saying something bhima and arjuna are the celebrated warriors the royal princes you know coming to how people persons like me i mean what is it rubbing his eyes seriously am i dreaming or something then how is it how is it possible for a person like me to go to the royal palace because bhima arjuna said please come maharaj yudhishthir has called for you how can person like me come to the royal palace to take prasad there it doesn't make any sense please right i i've been taking the remnants so the devotees the brahmanas the vaishnavas after they eat after they ate prasadam in the rajasu yagya right they will plates right they throw the plates i've been eating their remnants of the particular plates i'm very satisfied with that no problem i'm very very happy right and this very similar mood is exhibited in shri chaitanya charitamrita antarila chapter 16 If anyone is interested, please read uh, this is past time of Kalidas, not the poet Kalidas, the Kalidas devotee. Very very similar past time. Okay, I won't elaborate now because the sake of time. But he was very satisfied. First, for Pache Valmik was very satisfied eating the remnants of the Brahmanas. Uchchista. Hmm. This. Bhakta bhukta avashesha hi tien mahabal. Chaitanya Chaitanya says three things are very powerful. Bhakta pada dhuli, the dust of the lotus feet of the devotees. Bhakta pada dhuli, 
bhakta pada jal the water washed hmm, which has washed the lotus feet of the devotees exalted devotees bhakta bhukti avashesha bhakta bhukti eaten by the devotees avashesha the remembrance that has the same potency these three are the very with the these three are very powerful weapons to progress in spiritual life shri kairaj goswami says okay so he was he said i'm very happy with this so bhimsen said no 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 but you have to come you have been called for to so you have to come okay which with much humility you know you might just imagine you know going considered he considered himself as an outcast he didn't consider he was very humble going to the magnificent palace of maharaj yudhishthir with knowing that he is supposed to be fed in front of all this royal assembly is very nervous right so <clears throat> maharaj yudhishthir being a pakka you know it's perfect dharma as i mentioned dharma raj he wanted to follow the etiquette the code perfectly he greeted him with respect right and gave him wonderful seat okay just like krishna did for sudama brahman sudama right wonderful seat and maharaj yudhishthir wanted to wash the feet of this particular devotee okay wanted to wash the feet and topachi valmika said what are you doing why would you wash someone someone's feet like me no 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 please please don't do that then <clears throat> maharaj yudhishthir then asked krishna krishna what to do krishna said please allow him to do so so he allowed maharaj yudhishthir to wash his feet by under the orders of krishna okay then he was offered wonderful delicious meal personally cooked by panchali by draupadi okay now she made very different types of preparations all different different bowls you now offered in front of the particular personality swapacha valmika and after having so many wonderful different different um, offerings the first thing he did was he put everything in the plate made a khichdi <laughs> he mixed everything together now the in in ayurveda there are six types of taste mentioned six rasas rasa as also means taste rasa means tongue many things rasa means taste so madhura is sweet lavana is salty amla is sour katu is pungent titta is bitter and kashaya is astringent so the different types of taste mentioned in ayurveda so topati made preparations of all the six different kinds okay and he mixed everything together and started ordering it <laughs> just imagine you making like this and a person eating even together it's like i made with such effort all the different items you just mix everything together and right? drop the internally she did not like it she was very upset i prepared with so much effort all these different preparations you just mixed <laughs> made a big bowl ball of prasad and just ate it right so she was extremely sad that she did not eat it separately tasting each and every item after this sadhu was finished eating madhuri shir gave ample donations you know just as the kings would do donations of cows gold everything now this sadhu left now what are madhuri shir expecting now what to happen council to blow did it blow no <laughs> it did not blow madhuri shir scratching his head no what krishna said to feed him to greet him properly everything was done ab kya so krishna said someone has done an offense towards the particular sadhu who is that of course krishna knows so the pandavas said we don't do anything we are fine with it draupadi knew i did something so she said i, I was very upset i was feeling some bad intentions towards him because he did not on it separately um, i think i made offense the krishna said call him back and ask him why did that ask him why did that so madhuri sir come back madhu why did you mix all the prasadam together 
is there any purpose, is there any reason for your behavior or what you did? And then with folded hands, but this doesn't mean we have to do exactly like this. We can do without, I'll explain at the end, okay? So he said, I'll just quote, okay? Prasada means the mercy of the Lord. What does Prasad literally mean? Prasad literally means mercy. Okay? And the food which is given by Krishna is mercy because he did not finish the entire plate. He gave as it is, his mercy. Okay, I know you have to sustain, so you sustain on my remembrance. Take it. Mercy. It has already been enjoyed by the Lord. We offer what? Do we offer Prashad Bhagwan? What do we offer? Bhoga. Bhoga means what? It has to be enjoyed by the Bhokta Ram. Bhokta Ram Jagita Pasam Sabalokesh. He is the enjoyer. The food is supposed to be enjoyed. Okay? So Krishna is the enjoyer and is already enjoyed by the Lord. Right? Bhoga is already enjoyed by the Lord. So, and I am his servant. Thus, I have to honor his remembrance with respect and be careful not to commit any offense. Okay? So we don't eat prasadam. We honor prasadam. Okay? We honor prasadam. We, you know, in a very conventional way, in a colloquial way, say, oh, I, I, I eat prasadam. It should be honor prasadam. It is to be respected. We'll, I'll, if, I, if I get a chance, I'll mention it. Sri Sanatana Goswami in his Bharat Bhagavatam says that Krishna, Jagannath or Lord's Prasadam is not different than him because he is absolute. Okay? So now, so he continues. I should not enjoy his remembrance with feeling of like and dislike. Okay? If I don't like the chutney, I won't eat it. I like the sweet rice very much. Give me more of it. I don't like this. Hmm? So, <coughs> In, please tell me, have I made a mistake? He asked. He, this is the mood. We have a tendency, I am part of the problem. Hmm? I like this. No, no, please give me this. I love this. Could you have basin ka laddu? No? It's okay, thank you. That's what we do. Right? We have our own dislike. As if we are coming to Krishna, Prasadam, this is not tasty. This is tasty. That is our problem. We'll see more for the poor. What was the mood with which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to relish Mahaprasadam? We'll talk about that also. Okay, so it's Krishna's Prasadam. Okay, it cannot be not tasty, tasty. If it's not tasty, it's our problem. How can Krishna's Prasadam be not tasty? Doesn't make any sense. Absolute no sense at all. Krishna's Prasadam is tasty because Krishna ate it. Okay, so his devotional reply opened the eyes of the Pandavas. Yudhishthira Maharaj, along with Draupadi, begged forgiveness for the reference. Okay, and right after, Prabhupada said, It's okay, I, there's no offense. The moment he said that, mm, the conch shell blew. Sampanna, sampur, done. Right? That's, 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 the, that's the pastime from Mahabharat, Jabini Mahabharat. Regarding the mood with which we should honor Mahaprasadam or Prasadam in general. We should be respectful. Try to not throw Prasadam. Take what is, take, you know, incrementally. Small, 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 instead of taking big and then not eating. Small, small quantities and then eat as much as you need. Do not, Prabhupada has quoted so many times, do not throw Prasadam. Please eat as much as you need. Take as much as you need and then finish it off. Do not eat, do not throw. Okay? Now, this is regarding Prashadam. Now we'll start going towards Jagannath. Okay? Now, the six steps in Jagannath Puri, the six steps um, which are observed in offering Mahaprasadam to or Bhoga to Lord Jagannath. First is in the kitchen, they invoke or they call upon Mother Lakshmi. So what, is Jagannath, what is Jagannath's temple called in Puri? Shri Mandir. It's not Jagannath Mandir. It's Shri Mandir. Who is Shri? Mother Lakshmi. It's Mother Lakshmi's temple. And Krishna is studying there. Jagannath is studying there. So they call upon Mother Lakshmi herself to cook in the kitchen. She personally cooks in the... So they put everything up together and they close 
the kitchen and mother lakshmi cooks all the offering so is called as a vaishnava agni the fire is not it's never put out it's called vaishnava agni so mother lakshmi personally cooks all the offering for jagannath in other past time also where mother lakshmi once says i'm going and the jagannath and baldev says give something we are hungry the past time we'll talk about that also okay so <coughs> she called the call for mother mother lakshmi and she cooks all the offering for lord jagannath namal dev in subhadra raj bhog the the offering is played in very go- it's a big golden plate it's called shri yantra okay and is offered to next to lord lord um, simhasan ratna simhasan the two kinds of offerings one is in the altar one is outside is called as uh, bhoga mandapa bhoga mandapa is where you Tirushil has big, big pots of offering, and they take that offering to Anand Bazar, the place of bliss, market of bliss, Anand Bazar. So, big golden plate. Hmm, that is in that golden plate, the Jagannath is offered the food. Then, the mini mantras, the this chant, this chant, the Pralad Narasimha mantra, this chant, chant the Gopal mantra, so many mantras they chant. for offering even we do we'll talk about the prasadam offering prayers also we'll talk about then once that is offered once they saw like jagannath lord jagannath's reflection in the water in the palm accepted they take it out and then where do they go from there i mentioned before in class bimala devi uh, mother parvati is in same compound same temple same compound of the temple they take that offering is not called mahaprasadam until unless and until is eaten by mother parvati you take the entire offering to bimala devi and once she has it is out of the mandar complex then is called mahaprasadam okay and from there once is taken off in bimala devi they offer it to six exalted devotees of the lord okay so who are those devotees bishwak sena A commander in chief in Rupai Kunta, Bhikshvak Sena. You have must have heard this particular word in Shrimad Bhagavatam. Bhikshvak Sena katha suya no padi adiratim shama evahi ke valam. Bhikshvak Sena katha su. He is not. It's expansion of the Lord. So he is offered to that particular personality, Bhikshvak Sena. Then offered to Shukdev Goswami, Pralat Maharaj, Hanuman, Narad Muni, Garuda, Devala Rishi. Where have you heard Devala Rishi? शाश्वत दिव्य आदिमज विभु अहूस्त ऋषि नारद सता Ati to devalo vyaso thwen cheva bravishi me. All this you are you are great. Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhavan, Purusham, Shashvatam, Divyam. All these qualities have been explained by Arjuna and saying. So it's not just me saying it. Ati to devala vyasa swayam. They have personally told this that you are this this all this person are amazing, these qualities. So ati to devala is there in Bhagavad Gita also. Okay, so uh, and King Indadumna, the original personality who installed the Jagannath Temple. So these eight personalities, so from Jagannath uh, Temple is offered Bimala Devi. Bimala Devi is offered to the eight personalities, and from there it's out for distribution. This is the six steps, very in a very brief way, uh, um, the process of offering Jagannath Prasadam. now but as i mentioned right krishna's when krishna tastes a food it is tasty if you can't feel it that's our problem not prasadam's problem okay and why does krishna's prasad taste so nice as i mentioned right chaitanya mahaprabhu's past time we'll talk about so you must have heard at this this, this was my entry prasadam back in mumbai so just simple khichdi khichdi pickle papad done 
you are you are ensnared by this simple offering so simple but so captivating you will see uh, many many places people are so in i'm so enchanted what they can't resist prasadam it's that amazing when we hear oh we make all different kinds of cuisines in our temple with our onion garlic with onion garlic how can you make all this stuff with onion garlic it's this so wonderful wonderful so now what is what is the reason we should have prasadam okay when you offer food in sacrifice okay we take right after offering we take it what happens by taking prasadam from chandogya upanishad ahar shuddhau satyashuddhau dhruvasmiti spritilambhe sarvaganthina vipramoksha i'll tell what this ahar shuddhau when the food is pure after offering what happens satyashuddhau the existence being purified mind becomes pure then after what happens dhruva smriti intelligence becomes fixed by eating such remnants intelligence becomes fixed then smriti lambe one can remember very nicely hmm papa says is finer tissues it becomes very nourished then what happen sarvaganthina pramoksha then one can inquire about the absolute truth king liberation This is process given by in Chandra Gopanishad. Why should one take remnants, prasadam, ahar shuddhau, satya shuddhau, dhuva smriti, smriti lambhe, sarva ganthi naam, vipramoksha? Pupat quotes a particular verse in chapter three, verse eleven of Shri Bhagavad Gita. Okay, so this is this is the importance of prasadam in the from the Upanishads. Okay, next slide, Prabhu. Yes. This is a verse spoken by Shiman Chetri Mahaprabhu himself. Aidrbhya ete swada kaha hoyle kaha hoyte aila Krishna ra adhara amrita ite sanchari la. He say aidrbhya. These ingredients which are offered to Krishna, ete swada kaha hoyte aila. Where is this sweet, this wonderful taste coming from? Hmm? Mahaprabhu is questioning, asks the question and gives the answer himself. The next line. स्वाद कहा Who's Krishna? Ra. When Krishna tastes, he tastes with his lips. He takes, puts it in his mouth, the lips, and the lips is so nectarian that it enters, it spreads the entire food. That is why the food is so amazing, tastes so nice. Because Krishna's saliva is in, in the food. Hmm? Mahaprabhu considered, where has such a taste in the prasadam come from? Certainly, it is due to having been touched by the nectar of Krishna's lips. that is why prasadam is tasty it is tasty if you don't it's our problem hmm? it's our problem krishna tastes krishna's prasadam always tasty it's perfect now <coughs> the potency of maha prasadam or rather you no know, sometimes we say oh this is the siddhanta okay put next slide prabhu This is the re- verse where Mahaprabhu says, "By the ma- by the prasadam, listen it down." If you say, "Katyayani pratiknyaya," who is Katyayani? Paru Paru Paruti. Pratiknyaya means by the vow of Mother Katyayani, prasada he na dhana, the wealth of prasadam. Shrigala kukure khaya. Shrigala is jackal. Kukure means dog. By the mercy of Mother Parvati, even jackal and dogs. I have gotten the wealth of prasadam. Shuna Brahmana, Mahaprabhu is telling this to Shivas Pandit, Shivas Thakur. Oh, Brahmana, listen to what I am saying. Because of the vow of Mother Parvati, hmm? because of a strict vow, the wealth of Mahaprasadam, which is difficult, which is even difficult to obtain for the Devatas, 
For Narad Muni, so many house of demigods, they could not obtain. But by the mercy of Mother Parvati, when jackal and dogs are able to eat prasadam. Okay? That is the mercy, compassion of Mother Parvati. Next chapter, Prabhu. This verse talks about the, the, uncon- the purity of Mahaprasadam. Na tadrasha samam punyam. Vastu asti prithvi tale. There is nothing in this prithvi tale, in this, in this prithvi, in this, in this earthly planet, which is equal to Prasadam. Tadrasha samam punyam. You cannot find anything equal in value, which is equal to Mahaprasadam. Papa Samskara Kartranam, even those who do extremely simple act, those who when when this particular food prasadam, even if, even if it comes in contact with a sinful person who does sinful activities a lot, samparka tu na dushyati. Even then it doesn't get polluted, doesn't contaminated, it always remains pure, no matter what. Okay? There's no other substance on this earth. As pure as Jagannath Mahaprasad, it doesn't get contaminated by even coming in contact with habitual sinners. It's always pure. Hmm? Because it's Jagannath Mahaprasad. Next slide, Prabhu. Yes. Kukure ra mukhe hoite podaye dita bhu Paile matra khabe ithe dosha nahi khabu Kukure ra mukhe Kukure ra mukhe From a dog's mouth Hoite pade even if the prasadam, even if the morsel of food, even if it's fallen from the mouth of a dog, even if the morsel of food, fallen from Jagannath Mahaprasadam, fallen from the dog of the mouth, even that is still pure. There's no dosha, there's no contamination. That is the potency of Mahaprasadam. We should have the conviction, that's a different matter. What is your Shraddha is? What the level is? That is the potency of Jagannath Mahaprasadam. Hmm? Down there I have to talk about the etiquette which is observed in Jagannath Puri or Mahaprasadam is amazing, mind blowing. Okay. Now <coughs> we sing these prayers. So what are the prayers which, if one has desire, okay, such wonderful glories of Mahaprasadam, uh, how to offer this Prasadam prayer? Now, how can we offer? Is there any mantras to be chanted? Someone may have this question. For that, for next three slides, for next slide, Prabhu, we sing these prayers. <coughs> for each of these prayers, we sing thrice. The Pranam Mantra for Shri Prabhupada. Everyone is uh, aware of this. Namo Mishrapadaya, Krishna Prashtaya, Bhutale, Srimate, Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Niti Namine, Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gauravani, Pracharine, Indra Vishesh, Srinivadi, Paschatya Deshtarine. This chanted three times. Okay, everyone read. Next. Then his prayer for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Padayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaur Teshe Nama. Just composed by Shri Rupa Goswami himself. This prayer when he saw Mahaprabhu for the first time. Namo Mahavadanyaya, you are the most merciful. Krishna Prema Padayate, you are the giver of Krishna Prema. Right? So, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Nama. You are Krishna coming from Krishna Chaitanya. Okay? So this is the prayer. We, offer, we say this thrice. So once. Three times Prabhupada's Pranam Mantra, then three times this mantra, and next one three times. Namo Brahmana Devaya, Go Brahmana Hitaicha, Jagatita, Krishnaya, Go Bindaya, Namo Namaha. Three prayers. We sing this, press thrice. Three, three, three. Okay, and we offer the Lord. Oh my Lord, please accept this offering. It's not even, it's not worthy to offer to you, but I offer with, with full love. Kindly accept the offering. Kindly have mercy upon me. Kindly accept the offering and give back your remnants so we can eat with full satisfaction. That should be the mood which we should offer. Not that. Krishna, I give and dekha. But I made a lot of effort. Okay? You better eat it. This is not ordering around Krishna. Okay? Put full respect. Papa says, do not, um, uh, do not forget you are dealing with Krishna. Okay? We are not, he's, he's not our servant. We are his servants. Okay? So with full humility, you see Krishna, kindly accept the offering. Please forgive. You know, Shri Mithyadharani cooks so many different meals, she never uh, you know, repeats anything. But we repeat every week. 
but please be very kind and take this offering accept this offering and give us back so that we can ahar shuddho tatva shuddhi and we can come back to you with humility love sincerity is important that's the okay krishna krishna wants sincerity not kapata uh, krishna doesn't tolerate he is patita pavan he is not kapata pavan is pati if i have fallen no problem but if you are hypocrisy if you are hypocrites krishna doesn't like that no krishna will not mahaprabhu is patita pavan krishna is patita pavan not kapata pavan absolutely not he doesn't tolerate hypocrisy be sincere be transparent krishna will accept that but saying something doing something no krishna will not take that okay even we don't take that what then what to come krishna he is a person right so you be frank no problem okay and who is that the most handsome raja raman mrindavan the most handsome okay okay so mahaprabhu said this particular statement of prashadam okay i'm going to quote him from chaitanya chaitamrita everyone has tasted these foods before you make this offering you eat it okay however now that have been now that they have been prepared for krishna and offered to him with devotion these foods have acquired extraordinary taste and uncommon fragrances because it comes in contact with krishna just taste them and see the difference in the experience is what i felt when i first came okay experience i had kichri back at home i had kichri in them in in the you know in, in front of in in associate devotees nasmam punyam nowhere close no no parallel apart from the taste even the fragrance pleases the mind and makes one forget any other fragrance therefore it should be understood that the spiritual and imparted them all the transcendental qualities krishna prasadam dha siddhanta does not change the principle does not change siddhanta siddhanta is there we have to have the conviction shraddha and those who have the conviction the result will follow degree we have conviction to that degree will result will come there are many many i will maybe in next future classes will maybe share many many examples just by eating once those who who knows the the sto- who have heard the story of the steward um, the air hostess the particular time who ate one handful of puff dries by offshore pavapad entire life changed just one handful that's it nothing else we we'll talk about the later next session maybe enter life just one handful of puff dries and life was changed that is the potency of prasadam okay now well just five minutes i want to share so these are the prayers which you offer usually you know for offering to uh, krishna so we should offer we should not offer directly to krishna so example if you know i bring someone unknown to you i say hey this the person would like to offer some food where did the food come from you will be bit you know cautious when you offer to krishna which we have been we have been so distant we have been bahirmukh we have turned away from krishna for so long we have offered in front of krishna directly krishna food kon hai bhai who are you so instead of offering to krishna we should if you offer someone which is near to krishna krishna will take okay, you guarantee okay that i will take okay so when you offer bhoga to krishna we should not directly offer to krishna we should offer through guru offer to shri prabhupad because he is close to krishna he is very 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 intimate uh, you know associate of krishna if so krishna if prabhupad says oh krishna is very sincere please take it So, okay krishna will take it without any patience right so we should not to offer directly to krishna offer through the via medium of shri guru guru is not the wall it's not a wall between us and krishna he is like a window which gives access to krishna right it is a big wall between us and krishna the guru comes as a small window 
hmm, through which he, he access to access of he gives Krishna uh, and us access to each other. We should we should always just like you know in a chandelier there are links. Just take the one one cuff link just off, and that chandelier will fall. The guru is like the chain which goes up. So Prabhupada gives it to his spiritual master, his spiritual master. But Prabhupada has the humility saying, what can I, it's, hum, it's humility, how can I offer to Krishna? No, 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 I'm not qualified. Oh, my Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Sri Thakur, can you please offer to Krishna? The Vasha Bhani Daita Das, the servant of Srimati Adharani, can you please offer? He will say, no, 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 I'm, my Guru Maharaj, Gorakshi Babaji Maharaj, where am I, he is Paramahamsa Shiromani, where am I, go Guru Maharaj, can you please offer? I say, oh, Bhakti Thakur, can you, and this chase goes on the top. And Krishna will say, Bhaiya, it has passed so many filters, test, it has to be nice, I will take it. And then, it comes on again. Then the uh, spiritual master says, you please taste and give me the remnants. Bhakta Bhukti Avashesha. And then Prabhupada says, uh, Prabhupada will say, Bhakti Saint Thakur, did you have, okay, then you give me the rest. Prabhupada, did you eat? Give me the rest and then we take it. This should be the mood. Okay. Now, before we start having prasadam, we should do them kirtan. So we'll have arti now of Shri 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 Sachinandan. Shri 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 Sachinandan Bhagavan Ki Jai. Sachinandan Bhagavan Ki Jai. Tulsi Maharani Ki Jai. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Okay. The next time, we'll talk about three beautiful verses from Shri Padyavali of Shri Rupa Goswami, where he writes his choice verses to offer Bhoga to Krishna. Okay. We'll take some time and go through it. And then some more past times of Prashadam. Okay? Thank you so much. Shabhupad ki jai, bol jagannath, bole vadhre, subhadrami ya ki jai. Hare Krishna. Jai. Shabhupad ki jai. In the meantime, no. Mataji comes for Arti. Any questions? Comments? Three months? Yes, we talk about it. We'll come. Yes, we thank you, Prabhu. Yes, Mantri. Hmm. At least we'll have one photo at least. So the question is if we offer day preparation, we'll just Krishna, please take it. That's what you're saying, Baba, right? If at least one photo you have before five minutes. Keep it in front. We are not at home, we are in Germany. So yes, that is exceptions. Those are exceptions. That that's Krishna is a person. He's not a robot. It's not one zero one binary. Do you like this? No. He is the gradations, grayscale. So Krishna accommodates. But sincerity is important in Gimpu. Yes, Krishna will take it. Thank you. Jai. I will do Arti now. Jai. Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Shila Prabhu Pada. Jaya Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Prabhu Pada, Shila Prabhu Pada. Namah